Hi, Jeff Lawton here, and I'm gonna build a garden. People are always asking me, Jeff, what's the easiest way to build a garden and get some good food? I don't wanna be an expert gardener. I just wanna know the easiest way with the least inputs for the maximum outputs. Well, I'm gonna tell you. In fact, I'm gonna show you. It's very easy. I've got all the materials around me here. I've got these piles, this bucket, this manure, and some wet cardboard here. And there's no simpler way to garden, and you get a result every time. And all the materials you can find very easily wherever you live. So let's get into it. Right, first up, I've got a bucket here of food scraps. I'm gonna pour them on the ground. It's just general food scraps out your kitchen. There you go. That looks like a right mess, doesn't it? But that's gonna be our garden bed. I'll make it simple, make it small. So. Here's some horse manure. Now, you could use cow manure. You could use goat, sheep, camel if you got it, donkey, it wouldn't really matter. You could use chicken or rabbit. Horse is nice and user friendly. And there's usually horses around the city somewhere on the outskirts. Now, you just mix the horse manure or your other manures together with those food scraps. So you're going to attract those earthworms up to the surface. And to make it even friendlier for them, you're going to cover it with a sheet mulch. Now I've got wet cardboard here, so I'm just going to slop it down. It can be very thick, but when it's nice and wet like this, it's already going to keep the ground nice and damp. Now we just slop this down. This is our future garden bed and the earthworms are going to be very attracted to this space. In fact, the corrugated cardboard is going to act like little worm highways. Now, it also covers the ground, cuts out the light. Some weeds only need 30th of a second of light to germinate. You've got to be pretty fast if you're going to dig it over. But this way, you're cutting out all the light. There. The worms are gonna come up on this and they're gonna do most of the aeration. There's a lovely long bit, can go on the top. There we go. Most of the colors in the cardboard today are, uh, if not all of the colors, are actually vegetable dyes. They're soya ink. You don't have to worry about that. And we're gonna get such a decomposition going on it's all going to break down anyway. It's going to lock up in the carbon cycle. So we'll just tuck up the edges a bit. Got ourselves a really nice sealed off garden there. Let's find a few last bits. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our mulch here. And this is just hay mulch straight off the field. You don't really matter if you get a bit of seed germinating in this. It won't be connected to the soil, so they'll be very easy to just pull out. And if we put it nice and deep, it'll stay very moist. Three inches of mulch like this will hold one inch of water. So we're gonna make it about six inches deep and it'll be just like a forest floor. And the organisms in the soil are already realizing that there's a really incredible layer going on the top. It'll be cooler in summer, warmer in winter, and it'll be 10 times more moist than bare soil. That'll really hold moisture. We've actually constructed a garden already. There it is. We're actually gonna plant it now. I'll just shake off the top a bit, shape her up. It's a beautiful little garden bed. Not so conventional, but actually, very naturally ecological. This is how soil is built in a forest. Layers and layers of organic matter rotting down. We've just speeded up that process. It's a narrow bit, so I can straddle it. There we go. I can easily work across this. I don't want to expose any cardboard or paper. I want it all covered with mops like that. There we go. I can easily reach across it. I can easily maintain it. Now, I've got some seedlings. I'm gonna plant it straight away. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
dive through and I'm gonna dig through my hands. And this is definitely hand work. And I'm gonna find the paper down there. And I'm just gonna make a little nest. And I've got a nice little hole. Now over here, I don't have to use compost. I don't have to use any fancy material. I'm just use some good soil. And that will do it. You can just plant into that if you like. About a coffee cup of soil. Now if you want it to go a little bit better, you can put some compost or some worm castings on the top of that. And that's enough fertilizer, that's it. A handful of compost or a handful of worm castings. Then I'm gonna make a little hole. Just my fingers down to my knuckles. And that's about the same size as my little seedling here. If the seedling in the pot fits in there, which it does, it's gonna be the right size. So I'm gonna tap him out of his pot. There he is, I'm not gonna disturb the roots. I'm gonna firm it in, there we go. I'm gonna bring the mulch up round so he's in a protected little hole. I'm gonna do that right across the bed. I'm gonna water the bed and job done. Just gonna keep it wet, it's gonna grow a garden. No problem at all, guaranteed. Easiest way to garden. This is an instant garden.